welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel so in today's video i'll be trying out a bunch of products from ny bay so i bought all of these from purple.com and no this wasn't sent for review no this isn't sponsored i bought all of these myself and this is the look that i came up with the base doesn't look very flawless i know because i only had bb cream but for the eyes i only have three of their products and i created the smoky eye out of it which i'm pretty proud of honestly but uh, yeah if you want to know how these products wear perform and all of that then please keep on watching so let's just get started so the first thing that i have from them is their primer this is how the packaging looks like a simple sleek uh, squeezy tube packaging and it says blends like a dream hydrating in nature lightweight formula minimizes pores soothing skin perfect base to a flawless look now let me tell you that this is the second time that I'm filming um, this video so this is not going to be my first impression on most of the products except for a few because because a few of the products I did get later on after I filmed the first video but I just didn't like the footage it was overexposed I did try to uh, tone it down a little during editing but it did not happen that way so I'm refilming this now as I've already mentioned this is the second time I'm trying this primer out and the first time that I tried this primer out I only used it on one half of my face on this side and um, on the other side I did not use the primer now with the lasting part I did not see any um, huge difference I do want to say that the side where I had the primer that side looked a little bit more uh, glowy as opposed to the side where I did not have uh, the primer on so um, yeah it is very lightweight it is very easy to apply also one thing that i like about this primer is that you don't have to sit and just like blend for like five minutes which happens a lot with most of these um silicone sorts of primers and it really is very lightweight so i really like that and right now my skin really needs primer you can see i have like texture going on on this area so today i'm just going to go ahead and apply this primer all over my face instead of just half because i've already done that and i already know the results so now that i have my skin primed i have their bb cream now this one comes with spf 20 now this one i haven't tried in the first video i completely forgot that i ordered this as well and this came in later on after i filmed my first video so let's see what it claims it says it's infused with skin moisturizing agents cucumber and aloe vera actives even even skin tones and water resistant blends like a dream lightweight formula um, all the price and everything will be listed on the screen. I just do not want to waste my time looking for the price. Uh, by the way, I bought this in the shade Warm Honey. Hands Warm Honey? Warm Honey. Uh, so let's just see. Also, I do want to like apply this with my fingers because let's be honest, BB cream, who applies with a sponge or even a brush? Okay, maybe a brush, but I really want to try it with my fingers just to see what sort of a coverage you can get because BB cream most people use with their fingers right one thing though I did try to like squeeze the product out just to see the shade and I feel like it's empty like what is this if this is a new package like a new product what is it like it should be coming out right and then like whoa oops yeah there we go I mean I shouldn't be doing this if it's a new product but anyways I don't know Uh, let's just see how this applies. Now this is really new because I haven't tried this out before. I don't know why I was trying to smell it but let's apply this. I'm only applying this on one half of my face just to see what sort of a coverage we can get out of this. Okay, I don't know. I feel like maybe because of the primer the BB cream is like not moving around as I'm trying to blend but I could be wrong I mean it's a little stiff on the skin it's not that easy to blend is what I feel so this is the side with the BB cream uh, coverage wise I mean of course it's BB cream pretty low coverage not complaining uh, blendability wise it wasn't the easiest to blend but again it wasn't very difficult either so um, yeah the shade matches me as well i don't think it's looking uh, light either so i'm just going to apply this on this side as well and also cover these little spots that i have let's see what we can do about these so this is how my face is 
looking like after this BB cream. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. I mean, coverage wise, I'm not complaining at all. This is the sort of coverage I get with most BB cream. So, uh, not complaining about the coverage. Uh, however, it was tad bit difficult. I don't know, like going in circular motions was just maybe because of the primer. Uh, maybe the combo isn't just working that well. But um, yeah, coverage wise, not complaining. Uh, finish wise, it's it's like. I don't know, it's not matte, but it's not dewy either. It has got a very natural finish. So that's pretty good again. So let's move on to the third product, which I'm most excited about. Now this I've tried in the first video and this totally blew my mind away. It's, it's amazing. You will see in a minute, but this is their concealer and I have it in the shade, um, dark and white chocolate pretzel. I don't know how they came up with that name, but uh, okay, this is quite light on me. The first time I tried it, it did look like a concealer, which I can use only for highlighting and not like a regular concealer for dark spots and stuff. So uh, just keep in mind, it is going to look very stark right now, but uh, I just want to show you guys how awesome it is, the coverage, the finish and everything. And another thing that I really like is for... An affordable brand to make a liquid concealer which comes in a doe foot applicator now tell me how frequently do you see that yes we do see that in drugstore brands like Maybelline and L'Oreal and stuff like that but with indie brands to come up with liquid concealer which comes in this sort of tube doe foot applicator I don't see that a lot also I really like the applicator of this it's like very petite and uh, like flat but it is so good to like spread it underneath your eyes and wherever you want to apply it. So let me stop talking and let me show you how this works. Do you see that? Like look at the pigmentation. I just went in very lightly and you can see the coverage is going to provide me. I love the applicator. I don't know. Like I was just like, this is so good, man. it is so easy to blend just look at that I mean of course it's like quite light on my skin tone but still one thing to keep in mind is that this concealer does crease quite quickly so uh, I have their compact now this is their NY Bay compact it just says NY Bay compact with SPF 40 and this one I have in Zoe's Silky Beige Look 4. I don't know how they came up with the name, but I have to be honest, I do not like this compact. So the first time I tried uh, was with this um, sponge that they gave. Now, I even though I do like the sponge, like it's like a proper, you know, the powder puff sort of a sponge it has, but it was just like not picking up the product at all. Like if I just go like this, it barely picks up any product. This that you see right here is from the previous application. But do you see there's nothing really right here. You really like have to scrape out the product on the sponge. So I'm not going to use the sponge. Another thing is that this like as you like swipe it and like touch it. It feels very rough when you like you know do the swatch thing. And also it's not extremely pigmented. For example if I'm going to rub it these many times i'm expecting like a lot of the product on my finger but as you can see it's pretty average so uh, this is probably not something i like but um let's just set this set my concealer out and see if it does the job of setting that well look at that it's already creasing um but yeah let's just see if it at least sets my concealer or not because with the sponge it did not do that great of a job so this time I'm using my brush and let's just see what happens
Okay, so I did go quite heavy with the application of the compact. Uh, I think it has done a decent job. However, like certain areas still feel, feel a little tacky from the BB cream. So, uh, yeah. Also, it's looking a little patchy right here. What is happening? Wait. Let's move on to the eyes first. So I have three eye products from them. They're Long Eye Long Island Deep Intense Coal Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Bronze. I have their Liquid Eyeliner. This just does not say anything except for NY Bay. And I have their Big Apple of My Eye Coal. I tried both of these before. Uh, I do like their Kajal. This is nothing but like your regular retractable pencil. Um, I have worn this for nine hours I, I can say yeah a good night hour um keep in mind not in like hot and humid climate just like an ac office environment you know uh, and um one thing that i liked about this was it did not last very long but at the same time it was not everywhere like you know it did not give me the panda eye or it not it did not smudge uh very badly so uh, a good eye pencil again now this is something that i tried in my previous video and I have been using this every single day with a lot of love. I really like this one. Now this is like a bronze um, eye pencil and I mean look at that pigmentation. Isn't that amazing? Uh, very cheap again. So what I've been doing with this is I have just been um, you know applying this on my upper lash line, smudging it a little bit and then going uh, with a coal or like a liquid eyeliner just like very close to my lash line, lash line, lash line and it gives you like a very subtle definition to your eye and it looks very nice. So uh, one thing that I did not try from them is their liquid liner because again this arrived late. So what I'm going to try today is um, to create like a smoky eye out of these three let's see how i'm going to do that i definitely need a help from at least one transition shade or something like that so i'll keep you guys posted on what i'm using but i hope you guys don't mind that um and you can see that this is creasing so the compact definitely does not do that great of a job so let's get started i'm going to fast forward this i'm not going to keep talking because that's unnecessary let me just like quickly set this again you know like creating a smoke hair with eyeshadows but I'm not gonna say that it's looking bad anyways let's go ahead and try their liquid eyeliner I haven't tried this in the previous video that I filmed and this is how it looks like um, quite fine tip I'm gonna create a winged eyeliner let's see how um, I can create I mean how the wing turns out with this one Not bad, it's quite pigmented. Okay, so this liquid eyeliner again is not bad. Uh, 
the pigmentation is amazing the brush if not a great job it did a good job at applying the wing so i'm just going to go ahead and recreate the same entire look on this eye and i'll be right back i'm back and i'm a little bit hungry so let's finish this as quickly as we can all right so i added a pair of um, magnetic eyelashes from ardell um now again this is not ny bay i understand that but i just wanted to add you know a pair of lash and really see if this like competes with like a regular smoky eye that i can create with regular products you know not like an expensive product. I hope that makes sense. And needless to say, I love how my base is looking like. I mean, it looks so shiny and just like glowy, highlighty without even having any eyeshadow on. So yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this shade. I mean, of course, it's rubbed off right now, but I'm going to definitely pick up more of those cool, um, you know, colored cool eye pencils and let's move on to the lips now so for the lips i have again three products so i have their uh, lip crayon i have their liquid lipstick and then i have their lip liner now this lip liner i sadly chose a very bright pink color i'm not really into these sort of colors if you watch my channel you would know but i'll still include a swatch at the end i did try this in the first video that i filmed so i'll include a swatch from that video um i'm going to try this lip crayon now again this shade is just so beautiful i instantly fell in love with this shade this is so nice i mean this is in the shade sweet spot 12 a perfect everyday nude color you can have and also i think this would look really nice with the smoky eye that i have going on so let me grab my mirror and just apply this this isn't the most pigmented lip crayon you will see or uh, you can have but I mean it works. Uh, talking about this liquid lipstick, now the shade is quite nice. I mean it looks like a pinky nudie color but it translates more uh, quite dark on the lips than it looks in this tube. Pigmentation wise it's quite pigmented, really like that but formula wise I feel like it's a lot like um, sugar smudge me not liquid lipsticks. Um, formula is pretty much the same in fact this one feels a little bit more drying there than the sugar one so if you do not mind that or if your lips can handle that only then go for it but personally it's not my favorite thing to wear on an everyday basis so yeah so let me give you guys a quick rundown of all of the products primer is pretty good it's primer you know it's very blurring um, cannot really talk about the pore filling aspect of it because I do not have open pores but it did smoothen out the texture on my skin which is nice it is pretty lightweight which is again a nice thing and yeah lightweight definitely is lightweight it's a pretty good primer and something that I do appreciate about this primer is that you don't you do not have to sit around and just you know like keep blending it for a good minute like it gets absorbed and it does the job pretty quickly so I would recommend this primer BB cream is not my favorite only because there are like so many BB creams out in the market and all of those are at affordable range so I'm not sure if this BB cream really stands out of all the other BB creams. If there's something really unique for me to recommend this to you, uh, it is a good one again it's not bad, I'm not saying it's a bad BB cream it was just a little bit difficult to blend and it is still tacky like it does not set to a matte finish. Uh, so if you do not mind, you know, setting it with a compact or I don't know, like you can go for it. It's just not something that is just amazing and mind blowing and you would not get something similar to this in other brands. You know what I'm saying? So that was the BB cream. Let's talk about the compact. Again, as I previously mentioned, I would not recommend this only because you can get good quality um, at affordable range. Again, with compacts compacts are pretty affordable for most part and for most brands so would not recommend this it's quite rough did not do the job that it has you know it should be setting my makeup in place um which it did not my eyeshadow my concealer was creasing pretty quickly so i would not recommend that um and it was quite rough again oh my god concealer how can i forget i would 100% recommend this concealer it is pretty good i'm actually going to get myself um an exact match if I can get one uh, so yeah concealer no doubt hands down 
one of the best products from NYB that I've tried. And let's talk about their eye products really quickly. So this one, their long eyeliner, deep intense cool eye pencil. This is what I have all over my lid. And again, one of the best products that I've tried from them. I have a feeling though that this can crease and transfer because the first day that I used it um, as like a liner, it was here on my brow bone at the end of the day. So you can definitely go ahead and set this with an eyeshadow which is similar to it. But I mean, looking at it, you can work with this as, um, as an eyeliner, as this base that I have going on. You can create a smoky eye with this. So really like this this also comes in i think five shades so i'm going to pick up more of these next up i have that big apple of my eye coat it's a good kajal does not last very long but again does not smudge everywhere but i haven't tested it in humid climate or humid weather so i would not be able to give you you know like a proper review on this uh, and their eyeliner is again good however i feel like after it dried down it looks it doesn't look that pigmented you know i don't know i mean it's a good eyeliner don't get me wrong i could create a good wing out of it uh the what do you say the applicator is pretty fine and pretty petite it's nice to apply it's a good one uh again depends on you if you want something completely matte do not go for it because this does reflect light and all but uh, again for the price this is pretty good now talking about their lip products very quickly so the lip liner is pretty good it's retractable so you wouldn't be wasting the product and it's pretty pigmented so uh yeah just go for it if you find a good shade that you really want their lip crayons though are i mean i cannot talk about the other shades but this one is just amazing sweet spot number 12 this is the lip shade of course you've already watched the video I'm stupid anyways uh, the only con is that this does not last very long so you have to like keep reapplying it and if that is something you do not mind then go for it and lastly I have their liquid lipstick now the pigmentation again is pretty good it's the shade itself is quite dark and it applied very uh, evenly on my lips the first time I applied it I'll leave the clips and everything uh, but the formula is quite drying at least on my lips so uh, again, this is you who have to decide if you really want to go for it or not. But yeah, those were all the products from NY Bay. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying the stick foundations. I actually really wanted to review the stick foundations in the first place before any of these products, but all the stick foundations back then were out of stock, so I couldn't get my hands on it. Let me know if you guys want me to review the stick foundations and I'll be very happy to do so. And yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.